here all this week on the radio station. Charlie, welcome to the studio, brother. Hey, nice to meet you, Jay. How you doing? Yeah, I'm glad to have you here, dude. I mean, we, we've heard a lot about you the last couple years. We've had folks say, you know, we need to get this guy on the radio. I got to commend you because in the local music and indie music scene, there's lots of naysayers, right? There's lots of people who just like saying no and shutting doors. Uh, specifically and probably in your genre when you're coming to more of a hip-hop or that quote-unquote rap sound our parents oh, and yeah, grandparents course, like yeah. to throw around, right? Of course. Is it pretty cool to know that you've had a pretty decent amount of local support and that things are kind of snowballing in a good way for you right now? Well, when we first started off, um, everybody, you know, they, they were all saying, no, you really shouldn't just quit what you're doing, but, you know, I just had to keep on keeping positive and stuff like that. and. Like from last year, we only got one show this summer, and, and this summer it's have like 10 plus shows. Like, I can't even believe it sometimes. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I gotta commend you because as you've come along, I think you've taken the, those struggles and those people saying no and shutting doors, and that's clicked in in your head, I think, because I've seen you over the course of the last couple of years really take other local musicians under your wing, too. Now, they may not be your genre. For instance, let's take Danielle Robert. I mean, you can't get more opposite spectrums of music speaking there, right? But you're taking these kids and you're showing them the right way, you're giving them venues to help promote themselves, to, to get, you know, shows in the local area. You guys hooking up with Playasville Entertainment, I'm sure, is a big portion of how you're able to do that. Oh yeah, of course. Um, it really doesn't matter the genre of the music that individuals do, as, as long as they like, have that passion, if they have the same desire and passion that I have, then, you know, that's all that really matters. Um, you know, it, what we appreciate, um, James and I, like, we, 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 when we look at people, it's all based on hard work, and if we see that in a certain in individual, then, you know, we're more than willing to work with him. James Browning, I know he worked with you as producer, manager, per se. He, he does a lot of great work locally, Oh, too. yeah, of course. Um, he's, he's been my best friend for 10 years and stuff like that. Um, when we started, like, in high school and stuff like that, we met, actually met during, during track and stuff like that, just jamming out to music. Dancing on the track, people thought we were ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, it was funny, and it's stuff like uh, we walked in the hallways in school and stuff, and James would be walking, and he would stop the whole crowd. He'd be like, everybody stop. Everybody would stop, and he'd be like, Charlie, just rhyme. And I'd rhyme, everybody would clap, and then we'd just carry on our business. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Charlie Burgess in studio here with us today. How old are you now, bud? Uh, 27. 27. I know it started really young for you. I mean, you got into, it sounds like a little bit of A, that Motown sound, and then boom, everything kind of hit from boys to men all the way to Tupac. And as a kid growing up in our generation, that was the boom, <clears throat> right? I mean, oh, it, yeah. was, it, it was different, it, it was new, it was real. And I think that's where your music comes from, too. Yeah, I love listening to stuff like Boys to Men, New Edition, Mariah Carey. But nowadays, I'm, I'm a big fan of Drake. He's my role model. Um, I started listening to Drake when he dropped his first mixtape. He just was just finishing Degrassi. He dropped his first mixtape, and the one song that really caught my attention was City, of, City is Mine. And when I heard that, I'm, I was like, Drake's going to be big. And what happened? Two years later, signed a Young Money. So you're in a bar with Chris Brown. What happened? No. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Burgess live in studio. And of course, you're part of Fourth Friday's Culture yeah, Call tonight. Right, you're right. taking the stage about 8, 8.30, is that what you're yeah, talking about? Yeah, 8.30. Uh, I've got a half hour set. So I'm really looking forward to it. I've never performed here in Wallsburg at all. So, you know, it's going to be exciting. You know, hopefully there's a good turnout because I want everybody to listen to what I have to offer and hopefully they like it. Yeah, there's a lot going on here this weekend in uh, Chatham, Kent, throughout our local listening area. Make sure you make Fourth Friday's Culture Crawl a part of that weekend, 6 to 9 p.m. Lots of great entertainment. Charlie's taking the stage about 8.30. Let's take a peek at, at some of your work here. We've been listening to it throughout the week, Charlie. You've got a collection that's going. What are you thinking now when it comes EP, album-wise? What's next? What's in the near future for well, you? Well, right now, um, James and I, we're currently we're going to work on a Playersville album with every all the beats. They're all going to be made and produced by James. We're going to collaborate, put our heads together. Like really, really, we want this to be better than the Best in the City album. But then also we have other things on the back burner too. I'm um, going to be working on my next, my sophomore album for next year. Um, still going to put out more free music because, you know, for the fans supporting me and stuff, that I got to drop free stuff just to be like, okay, thank, <laughs> thank you for listening to me and stuff like that. Um, and, there, and there's some other things we're going to be doing too, we just can't say right now, but we have, it's a busy schedule, Jay, like, 
We're glad you're busy, brother. I'm, I'm glad things are really turning around here for you guys. Want to wish you the best of luck going forward. I'm sure you got some shout outs maybe for some folks who have uh, been there and supportive along the way. Uh, yeah, most definitely. Um, to anybody who's supported me from the beginning, you know, thank you. It truly means a lot. Hip hop is really hard in the Chatham Kent area and, and to really stand out, but you know, I, all your support really means a lot. Nothing more I can say, really. Well said. Charlie Burgess live from Excess Studios. One of those tunes we've been jamming to all week. Really like this one. Girl, it's all right. It's okay. Tell me about this tune, brother. Uh, well, this was actually the first song that I got done recording on the Best in the City album. And then, maybe a few weeks later, I recorded Swag. And we're like, hey, we got to have Swag the first single. Girl, <laughs> because, you know, it's hip-hop. you got to have Swag yep. the first single, right? So, and we had it like that, and the rest is history. Check them out tonight as part of Fourth Friday's Culture Crawl, downtown Wallaceburg. James Street in the downtown core closed off about 4.30 an hour from now. It's Charlie Burgess on 99.1 CKXS. Bam! Right on. Street closing at 4 p.m. Live, Charlie Burgess tonight at 8.30.